Not every disagreement can be aired in court. The party initiating the lawsuit must first demonstrate that the party has standing or the legal right to sue. The United States Supreme Court considered whether standing requirements were met in the 1991 case Air Courier Conference of America versus American Postal Workers Union. The United States Postal Service has a monopoly over letter carrying in the United States. That monopoly is codified in the Private Express Statutes, or PES. Congress created the postal monopoly to protect necessary revenues for the Postal Service and enable the Postal Service to fulfill its mission. A provision of the PES allows the Postal Service to suspend the PES restrictions on any mail route in the event that the public interest requires the suspension. In 1979, the Postal Service suspended the PES restrictions for extremely urgent letters, thus allowing overnight delivery of letters by private courier services. Private courier services, including members of the Air Courier Conference of America, relied on the urgent letter suspension for international remailing. International remailing is a practice that involves bypassing the Postal Service and using private courier services to deposit letters destined for foreign addresses with foreign postal systems. After receiving comments and holding a public meeting on the subject, the Postal Service officially suspended the PES restrictions for international remailing. The American Postal Workers Union and the National Association of Letter Carriers, collectively the unions, initiated a lawsuit in federal court. The unions challenged the international remailing rule under the judicial review provisions of Section 702 of the Administrative Procedure Act, or APA. The Postal Service and the Air Courier Conference of America opposed the lawsuit on the ground that the unions lacked standing to sue. The unions took the view that they had standing because the Postal Service's suspension of the PES restrictions for international remailing had adverse effects on their job opportunities. The District Court found for the unions, and the District of Columbia Circuit affirmed. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.